Well, this is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. I hope you're having a good day. And if you could use some prayer support today, would you please let us know how we can pray for you? Just post your prayer needs in the comment section. Today we're continuing uh, a little series, a brief series, inspired by a book I wrote called Grace for the Moment. This is a note-taking edition, which is kind of cool for your daily devotionals. You can put your thoughts in there. You know, before I got married, I was a slob. I mean, a serious slob. I was the typical bachelor leading the single life and not caring uh, about my conditions. You've seen the TV shows where the sloppy person gets a makeover. Well, that, <laughs> that I would have made an excellent candidate for that. But then I got married. Then I married Deanalyn. And boy, oh boy, did things change. Let's just say she did not marry me for my neatness. But I certainly learned to appreciate hers. She was and is neat and tidy. She likes things orderly, not to mention clean. Now, I couldn't hide my propensity for the slob life any longer. Live with someone under one roof and it doesn't take long before you notice all their habits, the good ones and, yes, the messy ones. I soon came to learn that clean clothes were meant to be hung in the closet and not tossed over the back of a chair. And here's the thing. I came to like the neat life. Neat life. I, I, I like coming home to a clean home. I actually came to enjoy clean dishes and contributed to my newfound life of neatness. It felt good to have a place for everything and for everything to be orderly and not chaotic. But then came the moment of truth. Deanlin went out of town for a week. Again, we were still newlyweds. Initially, I reverted to my former slob status. I thought I'd take a vacation from my new neat ways. I figured I could relapse and embrace my inner slob self for six days and then just clean on the seventh day just in time for her return trip home. I could finally relax. I could leave the bed unmade, toss my clothes on the chair, leave an empty pizza box on the coffee table, let the dirty dishes stack up in the sink for a few days. But you know what? Something strange happened. A curious discomfort began to stir within me. I found that I couldn't relax with dirty dishes in the sink. And after working all day, I wanted nothing more than to sit down with a book and, and read or, or watch a little television. But how could I when the dinner dishes were calling my name and there was a trail of clutter everywhere I looked. You see, I had changed. I could no longer relax with the clutter piling up. What had happened to me? Simple. I had been exposed to a higher standard. I was used to our home being orderly and things being put away. The clutter that I used to embrace had become a distraction. I liked my new status of neatness. Isn't that what has happened with us as Christians? You see, before Christ, we were out of control. We were sloppy. We were indulgent. And we didn't even know we were slobs until, until we met Him. And suddenly we found ourselves wanting to do good to be good. We were inspired to lead better lives with His help. In the book of Philippians, we find an inspiring line from the Apostle Paul that encourages us. He says, I keep trying to reach the goal and get the prize for which God called me. What if we all followed Paul's example? What if we all worked toward a higher standard, toward the goal. Listen, my friend, Jesus has big plans for you in this life and the next. Why would we want to go back to the way we were living before? 
the next time you see dishes piling up in your kitchen sink, <laughs> I hope you'll remember this little talk on high standards and the power of the influence for Christ. And as for me and my life as a former slob, I don't want to go back to the old mess. <laughs> no way. You know, we can relate this to our faith. Why would we? Why would we want to go back to our messy ways? Well, friend, God loves you. Now, He loves you just the way you are. But He loves you too much to leave you that way. He wants you and me to be every day a little more just like Jesus.